Hi, this is Ralph, and I'm uh, continuing on with my solution video here for making the web page. So basically, we're making this page here that's been sketched out. I've already got it started off with the HTML structure. Now I'm starting to do some CSS to get it to look more like the desired uh, sketch here. Okay, so I've got the header section position. It's at the course. It's at that top there, and I've got a background graphic on it. There's a logo inside of this header that's positioned over to the left, and a search box within. Uh, oh, let's see, a search box with a select menu for Ben Redmond Prineville. Text box in the right. So I got to do some stuff that's in the header. The name of the website, local dining, is displayed. So I've got a few things in the header: logo, heading there, right there in the middle, and I've got a search box. Okay, so let's take care of those few things. I'll just drag this off to my other monitor and away we go. So I need to be over in my HTML actually, so let me jump back over to Notepad++. I'm going to head over to the HTML side of things, go to my header, and I'm going to put in a couple items in here. I will go ahead and stick in a, a div id equals logo. Let's see, and I do actually already have a logo that was provided, and I think I it was um, what did I call it? There we go. Lodi logo dot png. Okay. Okay, so we do have a logo in there. In fact, let me just indent these just so it stands out that this is all inside of the header section. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a heading one in there local dining, not doing anything too fancy with that. And we're also going to have a little form in here, so I'll do a form. Okay, a little search form action, and I'll just go ahead and put a generic action. Okay, got a couple of those in there. Now the form is pretty simple looking if we go by our sketch and by the directions in there. It's really just going to have a drop down menu with a few cities and a plain text box for some keywords with a submission button. All right, no problem. So let's see, and there's really no labels for it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a, a, a select menu. And I just need a few uh, cities. And I'll just put in the word city. Okay, and I'll just do control D a couple times. Let's put in a few more in here. Bend Redmond Prineville. Bend Redmond Prineville. Okay, so my drop down menu is going to have a few options. And let's see, we also just need a text box. I'll just put in a basic break tag in there and uh, input type equals text, name equals search text, value equals oops, search. That looks pretty good. And let's see, and right next to that is going to be the submit button. I didn't provide a submit button for you, so we'll just do a generic type equals submit, value equals, and how about just a lame little do it yourself arrow? There we go. Takes care of that one. Okay, but our form is called search form. We have a logo in there called logo. And of course, we've got our H1 local dining. I'm going to go ahead and save this and jump right over to the CSS. So our header is position relative, and it's 900 pixels wide naturally, taking up its available space, 110 pixels tall. Um, I've got an element for logo. So I'll scroll this up a little bit here. I'm going to do a position. Spell it right, though. Absolute. And I will position this. Um, Five pixels from the top, five pixels from the left. Okay, takes care of that. I've got a search form in here. In fact, I'm going to do something similar, so I'll just do a little copy paste. Position absolute. This one will be um, 
top and right. Okay, search form top and right. And then, okay, and I also want to add my headline in here. So I do have a headline. Oh, it's not even a div though, so all I really need to do is just type in H1. And I'm just going to do text align center. Actually, that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save my CSS. HTML has already been saved. Let's see, I'll just jump back over to Firefox here, do a refresh, and see how things are looking. Uh, my logo looks a little bit big for the space, so I can easily size that up a little bit. I do say in the directions I want this to be 110 tall. Uh, my local dining heading is there, so it can't be seen with that black text. So I'll just take care of that. And my, my form is fine, you know. It's remember we're, we're going by this little uh, this sketch here, just getting a rough layout, and that's really what things are going for. So let me just do a couple quick fixes on the style sheet. There we go. My H1, let's see, I'll just go ahead and change the color over to white. And for my logo, let's see. Logo actually refers to a div. So the image inside of that logo div, I'm going to go ahead and change its height to, um, how about if we do 80 pixels? See how that looks? Go ahead and save that. Back over to Firefox. Refresh. Good enough for government work. Okay, so that really kind of takes care of the heading portion, okay, of this exercise. So I've got that header portion. And there are three distinct columns in here. So our left column has this navigation menu and then an add. I'm going to put my attention on this for a moment. Navigation menu and add. Add obviously is going to be easy just inserting an image. Okay, but let's check out that navigation menu. All right, so I'm going to jump back over to my CSS. And in fact, let me actually go over to my HTML first and check out this nav menu. It's actually got, already got some IDs. This was given to you here. It's in a it's in its own div. Okay, that, I'm sorry, that's the left column div. I just did that a little bit earlier. Here we go. The unordered list is a nav menu. Okay, and what did I really tell you about this nav menu? So let me bring those directions over. Okay. A navigation menu. Okay, so I'm reading right over here. A navigation menu based off of an unordered list displays along the left side below the header. Make the links have a button-like appearance and change the background color of the links on hover. For extra credit, use the background image provided and shift the background image on hover. Okay, so I did provide a background image you could use, um, and eh, might as well. Let's give that a try. So we'll use the background image. So move that off to the side. Head over to my CSS for ID nav menu, and I can really do work on this anywhere. Anywhere, but I'll. So I'll just start down here at the bottom. Okay, onward list nav menu. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those bullets. All right, that's pretty easy. Oops. Okay, now within that, there I've also got some list items that I have to deal with. So, onward list nav menu list items. By the way, I don't actually need the UL here. I'm just kind of using that as a reminder that this is an unordered list. Okay. So now my list items, uh, really nothing too fancy here. Um, in fact, I guess I could have skipped this part. I'm going to go ahead and put a little margin on them, though, just take care of that. And this is going to be the bigger one here. Nav menu, list items, the anchors. The anchors within my list items have to have a lot to do here. Um, display block. Okay, and then I've got to set their width and their height. Okay, okay. Now I really don't know what to do with those yet, um, so I really have to kind of know. Since I'm using a background image, I have to know about it. And I did provide the image to you, so basically it's menu bg dot uh, gif. So let me go ahead and open that up for a moment. Okay. So there's the background. It's a two-state background image. I can see it's 200 by 64. That's critical information. That'll let me know that my my uh, my blocks here are going to be about the 
32 pixels tall. They don't necessarily have to be 200 pixels wide though. I could make them a little bit more narrow. So don't have to be 200, but there we go. So that's some critical information. So let me just get that out of the way. So for the width, I'll try something a little narrower. 170 pixels and 32 pixels tall. That's half of the overall height. That should take care of that. Okay, let's see. We need a background image on there. And my background image is going to be, um, let's see, it's called menu-bg.gif. Okay. Text decoration none. That's going to get rid of the underlining for the text that's in there. Okay. Line height, um, 32 pixels. Okay. Notice my line height is the same as the height of my text, or I'm sorry, the height of the box, the block element. That'll give a, this, uh, the look of vertical centering. Okay, and I'll do a little bit of padding to the right of about four pixels. Not a very critical thing, just more of an aesthetic kind of look. So let me go ahead and save that for a moment. Actually, you know, let's just go ahead and jump on. Let's take care of this other part too, and we'll just do one big test, and then I'll move on to like the third part of this video series. Um, let's see, so I've got the unordered list, nav, menu, list items, a colon hover. Let's go ahead and take care of the hover state while we're here, and that'll be done with this menu. So when a person hovers, and let me bring that image back so we can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so they're going to see part of this button here, okay, just this top part, because that's all that'll hold, you know, it's, the whole thing is 64 pixels, they can only see 32 pixels, just that top part, but when they hover over the block element hyperlink, I want to, I want them to see this darker gray portion, okay, so we just got to shift that background image a little bit there, so on hover, I'm going to change the background position, um, zero pixels left and right, negative 32 pixels up and down, so that'll shift it up. Negative 30 pi negative pixels height will shift it up. Okay, takes care of that. Save it. Refresh on the browser. There we go. Now my text is a little bit big there, and I could start to reduce that font size. That might be a good way to go. But um, that's actually not too bad. 